Seven Secrets of Silicon Valley. These seven observations are not so secret, but useful to know. Success is highly elusive, as is the case in other technology hubs all over the world. Success in Silicon Valley is highly elusive. Google, Facebook, Apple, Cisco, Intel and other large success stories fill the headlines. But less than 10% of new ventures survive the startup process in Silicon Valley and even fewer entrepreneurs are able to cash out. Although the vast majority of venture capital investors are based in the Bay Area, they do not invest in startup ventures without undertaking serious due diligence and many focus on expansion stage companies rather than those in the seed and early stage. Entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley are frustrated by the lack of support infrastructure and the difficulty in raising finance. Where other fields of study such as medicine and law have matured over centuries, entrepreneurship and the process of starting a successful high-tech venture has only been studied for a few decades at most. Silicon Valley may be the heart of the high-tech startup business, but success remains highly elusive here as it is everywhere else. Innovation is not found in startup company structures. Innovation may be inherent in the high-tech sector, but it's rarely, if ever, found in startup company structures. Companies in Silicon Valley are formed in a cookie-cutter style. They're incorporated as Delaware C corporations with standard capitalization tables defining how shares are issued and allocated to the various stakeholders. Investments are routinely structured as preferred stock and convertible notes are sometimes found in smaller angel investments. The preferences incorporated into preferred stock transactions are remarkably consistent. And consistency is necessary for deal syndication, which is routine in many investments. Investor A will lead the round, negotiating the terms, and bring in investor B to follow on the same terms in deal 1. Then the roles are reversed in deal 2, where investor B leads the round and investor A follows. This type of syndication is made much easier when the investment and corporate structures are standardized. So corporate and investment structures are remarkably standardized in Silicon Valley. Investors have superpowers. Through special rights attached to preferred stock, investors in Silicon Valley are provided with superpowers. These powers include rights to veto a sale of the company and the raising of new finance, powers to elect their own directors, powers to control the board of directors, and powers to hire and fire the CEO and management, including the founders. Intangibles have tangible values. In Silicon Valley, intangibles such as pre-revenue startup companies and patents have remarkably tangible values. Patents are actively traded and can be valued with some accuracy based on comparables with similar patents that have recently been sold on the market. The valuation depends on the strength of the patent claims and the potential royalties that might be recoverable from licensees. Companies, even early stage startups without profits, assets or revenues, can also be valued with some accuracy. Without financial results to drive the calculations, the value is often driven by the return on investment required by the investors. Although the value of patents and startup companies is quite predictable and constrained by widely adopted industry standards, in rare occasions the value of a patent can become unusually high where the invention is widely adopted in the marketplace and the value of a startup company can sometimes reach extremely high levels when the company experiences huge growth in customer uptake and market momentum. Excessive valuations in these situations make the news, but they're certainly the exception rather than the norm. 50% of $10 million is not $5 million. 
the laws of mathematics sometimes appear to be distorted in Silicon Valley, where 50% of 10 million does not always produce a $5 million result. A founder owning 50% of a venture-funded startup that is acquired for $10 million generally does not walk away with $5 million. Under the liquidation preference provision of the preferred stock agreements, investors stand in line ahead of founders and employees when proceeds of a merger acquisition sale are shared out. Investors take one times, two times, maybe three times their investment out first before sharing the remainder of the proceeds with the founders. The common stock holding founders participate in sharing the proceeds of the sale after the investors have recovered the finance they invested or multiples thereof. Patents are weapons of litigation. People are sometimes surprised to discover that patents are weapons of litigation and only weapons of litigation. A patent does not provide a right to make a product. It provides merely a right to exclude others or extract a license royalty when others practice the patented invention without a license. A war chest of funds and army of lawyers are usually required to assert patent rights. Most startups don't have such resources, so their patents are somewhat redundant assets. Momentum is a magical force. Business momentum is evidenced by a positive buzz and the achievement of milestones. Many markets in the high-tech sector have one winner and many losers. The first to the post often wins the prize and achieves huge business success as a result. Positive momentum attracts investors, employees, customers, press and helps the company achieve its goals. Passengers often want to travel on the fastest vehicles and these individuals are attracted to startups with impressive momentum. It may exhibit magical powers when positive and impressive, but momentum does become a menace when it turns negative. People are frightened away from startup companies that have negative press, that lose customers, or otherwise lose momentum in the market. 